Hey everyone, today, I'll review the Pan Spatial Teton, which is currently the newest battleship in the game. I'll be going over the stats and performance of the ship, as well as exploring its usage tactics. At the end of it, I'll give my opinion on whether it's worth getting or not. Here are the fully upgraded stats of the ship. The important thing to note here is its durability only. Its durability matches that of JS Yamato, surpassing most other battleships in the game. This positions the battleship, along with JS Yamato, in third place for durability rankings, with IJN Yamato holding second place and CN Watching claiming the top spot. True to its battleship nature, the firepower of this ship is impressive, even surpassing that of Watching, which already has very lethal firepower. Watching's firepower is lethal enough to kick you out of the match quickly, especially if you're using a destroyer or a frigate. This battleship can accomplish the same feat, but it does so at an even faster rate. Similar to the two battleships that came before this ship, the main cannon has a crucial part of it. The main cannon of this ship is a railgun with a little bit more power than that of watching. On top of that, the ship shares the same number of main guns as Bismarck. These factors are what allowed the ship to have a firepower greater than that of watching. If you're interested in learning more about watching, be sure to check out my previous video where I've done a detailed review of the ship, including Bismarck. Aside from its main guns, it's equipped with a single missile that is locked onto the ship. The missile on this ship actually has a significant part of the ship's overall firepower, thanks to its good power, reasonable reloading time, and commendable speed. What's more, it doesn't just fire a single round per attack, rather, it simultaneously launches four rounds. When combined with the previously mentioned attributes, this allows the missile to deal substantial damage to the enemy. The ship also has a grenade launcher and torpedo. The grenade launcher it's equipped with falls somewhat short compared to Watching's version. It is more powerful compared to that of Watching, but it has more burst damage. Also, its projectiles travel slowly, causing you to constantly adjust the aim when using it together with its main guns, which is quite annoying. The torpedo it's equipped with is the same torpedo that Argonus has, and the ship carries only one of it. It's not very powerful, but its burst damage is pretty good, as well as its speed and reloading time. Now, from the looks of it, you can tell that the ship's anti-submarine capability is pretty good, but if we compare it to RF Admiral Isakov, which is the battleship that holds the best anti-submarine capability, its anti-submarine capability is inferior, but it is certainly near the level of it, as it's much better compared to what most of the other battleships have. In terms of survivability, the ship holds up decently well. I've already discussed one of the things that contribute to it, which is its durability. Again, the durability of this ship is awesome as it's higher compared to most of the other battleships in the game. As for its other attributes, such as its agility, it's average. While the ship boasts decent speed and good maneuverability on paper, in actual battle scenarios, the said maneuverability is barely noticeable. This could be attributed to its speed being only average, its slow acceleration, or a combination of both factors. Also, yes, it has slow acceleration, meaning it takes considerable time for the ship to reach its maximum speed making it challenging to swiftly engage or disengage from battles. Regardless of the reason for its kind of poor maneuverability, the agility that it has is still significantly better than that of IJN Yamato. As for its anti-air capability, it isn't as impressive as that of watching, but it's better than what Bismarck and Massachusetts have. The way you use this ship effectively is like a combination of how you would use watching and Bismarck. Similar to watching, the ship can fight at any range, including long range, thanks to the advantage of railgun. However, if you're not confident with your aim, it's best not to engage at it. The ship does come equipped with a missile, but it's not enough to deter your target, and the slow acceleration of the ship is likely to impede your operation. Furthermore, it's not advisable to use the ship aggressively due to its slow acceleration and the necessity of exposing its entire body to maximize the power of its main gun when engaging opponents behind obstacles. This issue stems from the placement of the main guns, a problem that Bismarck also suffers. Hence, you'll have to use it like Bismarck, be defensive at using this ship. Pay close attention to your positioning of the ship, let your opponents come to you behind obstacle, and aim to be the first to deal damage in engagements. This strategy minimizes the damage you receive while enabling you to eliminate your opponents effectively. Here is a summary of the advantages and disadvantages of the ship. Overall, it's a great ship, and I think it's very worth acquiring. The sheer firepower of this battleship is astounding. It has essentially taken the already formidable firepower of watching and amplified it, 
rendering the ship an exceptionally serious threat on the battlefield. Having this ship on your team will greatly increase your chances of achieving an easy victory, most especially if the player excels at using battleships. This is the best instant damage dealing battleship you can currently get in the game. As for its flaws, they're not a big deal. The advantages of this ship outweigh its disadvantages. However, it's essential to remain cautious of its drawbacks as they can still impede your ability to effectively utilize the ship. Now, I'll leave you guys a video of the gameplay of the ship for you guys to see how it performs in battle, and that'll be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys like this video, and if you all did, please leave a like and subscribe to support me. Thank you so much for watching. Turn.